All right, here we go. We're going to do an MS21251 turn barrel body locking pin. So in order to install these, the threads on the turn barrels have little grooves in it as where as well as the MS turnbuckle. And they have to line up in order for the clip to be inserted. So the clips come in a pack on a little piece of cardboard and you can just take them once it's lined up they'll just slide right in this one tends to be a little sticky it's a brand new turn barrel and a new lock clip everything's new so there's no wear in them at all i find i had to use a pair of duck bills to get these started once it gets into the groove it'll slide right in just a little bit of force to just push it past the little piece that was stopping it. There it goes, it extends through and drops into the hole. And it can't come back up. And now the turnbuckle can't turn. Now the downside to these turnbuckles is that they only go in on half turns. So this will have to go in from the top as well. And if you look in the AC4313, the next image I'll show in a minute, they show them going in on opposite sides, but they can go in on the same side as well. So in it goes, push it down to lock it. You should hear a little tick as it goes in. And then you have to give a little pull uh, to make sure you get the inspection done right. So I'm just giving a little lift on there to make sure that it's stuck in place. There we go. Now to remove this pin, the way that I do it is I take an awl, stick it underneath there to give it a little bit of space, and then slide my duck bills in underneath. Now I can slide the duck bills all the way to the front and roll the duck bills, and I don't have to pull or anything, and it just slides right out. So there you go. There's your MS21251 turn barrel and an MS21256 locking clip. Insulation and removal.